morning everybody i am just waking up i am aware that i look crazy i'm literally my alarm clock just rang but today is the first 72 degree nice day um that we've had in a long time here on the east coast so i am super super excited because uh we're gonna take a drive down the shore today we're gonna go to a horror convention and walk around the shore and see the ocean for the first time in so long since last season so I'm super excited and I'm gonna get up and get ready and I thought you guys might want to get ready with me I love you guys be right back so face wash, teeth brushed, foundation on, moisturized, all of the above. Uh, I put my brows on and I'm just going to continue with my routine and talk to you guys a little bit about my day. So how many of you are a fan of horror movies, you guys? I am totally not a fan of horror movies, actually. I don't like them at all whatsoever. Um, I like watching, honestly, like happy or funny things or action adventure, science fiction, fantasy, all that kind of stuff is more my cup of tea than actual horror. My like horror, love for horror movies goes pretty much as far as like the Lost Boys. Like that's the kind of horror that I'm into, something that's not scary enough to like ruin my whole night. So that's the kind of stuff I'm into, but my best friend loves horror. So we're going to a horror convention today. I really like going to conventions. They're so fun. Um, I've been to video game conventions and just like comic conventions and things like that. And they're always a good time because I like to shop and there's always fun, nerdy stuff to buy with, um, they have tons of vendors artists that you know do all different kinds of work and I love to see what I could buy sometimes they have you know movie posters or all that fun kind of stuff and so I'm excited to go today it's gonna be a good time and like I said it's the first 70 degree day or 72 whatever degree day we've had in so long it's been a long cold winter here and I'm super stoked to finally see the sun and to see the ocean for the first time in a really long time the ocean gives me such good vibes you guys I don't know about you but just moving water in general it just makes me feel so peaceful so I'm so excited to go and be able to lay near the ocean and just watch the waves a little I'm super excited the convention you guys is in um, Atlantic City which is like a smaller Las Vegas and actually the convention itself is in a casino so it should be interesting how they set the whole thing up I'm really curious to see that I feel like the hardest decision in the morning is picking out what you're gonna wear so sometimes I make sure that I pick mine out way ahead of time or at least the night before sometimes it helps when you're going to something major or just a day out and you don't want to be late picking people up then you're prepared then you don't have it on your mind you're not worried like what am I gonna wear as whenever you feel like you put too much color on your face a kabuki brush can always smooth that out as long as it has nothing on it have a little shimmer and sparkle to my life and I'm using the same highlighter everywhere today I'm gonna have that pixie glow <laughs> I think I'm gonna use my Too Faced chocolate bar palette today and I'm gonna go in first under my eye with milk chocolate I think I'm gonna go in with Amaretto next and I think I'm just gonna do that in my crease a little salted caramel blend that out to the tip of the brow I'm telling you guys I always gravitate towards these natural color palettes 
I want to take that hazelnut color up much higher. I think I'm going to do a little creme brulee right on my lid. And I'm even going to dip into that creme brulee and go right in the inner corner. Every look needs a wing. Not going to do falsies today, you guys. Just going to curl my lashes. What's your false lash routine, you guys? Do you wear them every day? Do you wear them just on the weekends? Do you only do them for special occasions or do you not like them at all? Let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to know, you know, how you guys like false lashes. Well, I'm a fan of them. I think they look absolutely stunning. I just don't wear them every day. Um, but I do love them and wear them very often for special occasion and stuff like that. But today, like I said, I'm just walking around a convention. I don't need to go completely crazy and do my lashes. I hate when I can't find a product in the mess that I make. <laughs> Going to use my Lorac Pro uh, liquid lipstick in the color soft pink. I want a light lip today. And you guys know I like to add a little shimmer sometimes on the lips because I think it just makes them look a little bit bigger. I hope you like it. That's the look today. I'm going to get my outfit on. And my little buddy Simba decided that he wanted to be a YouTuber today as well. So I made sure to give him a little TV debut. I'll show you guys what I'll be wearing today. I'm going to wear my Motley Crue t-shirt that I got at the Goodwill, you guys. This skirt I also got at the Goodwill, and I'm just pairing it with some tights. This whole outfit, you guys, had to have costed less than $10. Um, I told you I'm a girl on the budget. I like to shop budget-friendly. So, yeah, this is what I'm wearing really easy simple look um, I'm gonna pair it I'll show you guys what I'm gonna pair it with I'm gonna pair it with the leather jacket that I taught you guys how to stud in a previous uh, tutorial that I did I will link that in the description box below you guys for you if you want to know how to make your leather jacket stud it like this so yeah you guys that's what I'll be wearing today just a real simple, easy, quick outfit. And I'm gonna be just pairing it with some black boots. I will be heading now to the convention. So we got a little drive ahead of us. We're heading down the shore. It's gonna take us about an hour. So I will show you guys a little bit of the convention when we get there. Thanks so much for getting ready with me. I will see you real soon.